All right, good morning. We're going to get started here soon with our healing Hatha Yoga class about better blood, blood flow. A yoga that you can do to increase your circulation. If you're already here, we'll start on our backs today. Kind of shiny, but it's all good. <laughs> Let's see. Really, he's ready. Just we'll try to get that into our. Now I'm going on Sidewalk Detroit Live so people on Instagram can Instagram can join us. morning. If you're here on Facebook, I can't see your name, so if you could tell me who you are in the comments, that'd be awesome. Good morning. So for folks that are joining us on, uh, good morning, Claire, on Instagram. Uh, Claire is our yoga teacher who will be offering half of the classes uh, with Sidewalk Detroit this summer. And Asha will be offering the other half who joined us earlier in the week. But yeah, if you're on Instagram, you get to meet Claire this morning who will be uh, demonstrating the intensifications of the poses. How you feeling this morning, Claire? <laughs> good, good. Uh, how are you guys feeling? Hey, Jim. Hi, Andrea. Good to see you all. Feeling good? Maybe type a thumbs up. Um, all right. Just a few more minutes here to start. And we're going to start on our backs today. So feel free to go there now uh, or take this time before class begins to grab a prop, meaning a block. I can have yoga blocks everywhere. <laughs> or a blanket. It can be thankful. That's a good way to, that's awesome. I also feel thankful for you all joining us here this morning, Jim. That's great. I uh, also maybe grab a blanket. Let me go try to find out where my yoga blanket is. It's somewhere over here, <laughs> I think. Um, 
um, I don't know how I misplaced my yoga blanket. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Here we go. Props. You may not uh, need the props. A lot of people who do yoga regularly, they'll say like, oh, I don't need props, but they will help you get deeper into a lot of poses. So I always recommend props. So if you don't have any actual props, all good. You can use a big book or just a pillow from your bed or a blanket or whatever just something to support your body so go ahead um lie down like claire if you're not already there if you're just joining us finding your way down to your backs and from your back, go ahead and place a hand on the heart and a hand on the belly. And allow your eyes to rest close. Just by closing our eyes, we begin to tune out everything around us. And just start to notice and feel and see what's going on inside of us. So as you lie on your back, start to breathe exclusively through your nose. Just noticing how your breath creates this subtle movement in your body. As you breathe in, the belly and chest rise. Notice as you breathe out, how the chest and belly soften. Breathing in through your nose and expanding your body. And as you breathe out, feel everything release into your yoga mat. Breathe in through your nose, filling up the belly, the chest, and exhale as you feel the chest release and soften. Let's take five more deep breaths right here through the nose. Slowing down any movement of the eyes as you work to slow down your breathing. Extending your inhalation to two seconds as it moves through your nose. And two to three seconds as you press it out. And on your next inhale, Take a deep breath in, fill up your belly with breath, fill up your rib cage, fill up your chest, feel it rise, hold your breath at the top, open your mouth and let it out. Continue to breathe through your nose here on your backs. Every time we take those deep breaths, we send this oxygen to our blood sending this oxygenated blood through our bodies. So on your next inhale, go ahead, fill up again. Fill up both lungs with your breath. Fill up your chest, expanding the rib cage and the heart center. Hold it at the top. Open your mouth and let it go. And 
Allow the lips to seal and keep taking these deep breaths through your nose. Each time, just visualizing this oxygenated blood moving through your bloodstream. Moving through the organs, moving through and nourishing your body. And let that be your intention throughout class. Keep that focus inside. On your next inhale, hug your knees in towards your chest, lying on your backs. Good, rock a little bit from side to side. Give yourself a little hug for being here on the mat this morning. Good, and then press your footprints up towards the ceiling. This is one of the best poses for blood flow. We'll start here today gently stretching the hamstrings. Pretend you're walking on the ceiling, flexing your feet, bending one leg while the other leg straightens. It's like riding a bike on your back. See if you can extend through the heels so you really feel your hamstrings elongating this morning as you start to wake up the legs. Good. Then go ahead, hug your right knee into your chest and extend your left leg long. Keep pressing through your left heel. Then go ahead and let your right arm splay out to the right side of your yoga mat. And then go ahead, draw your right knee all the way over to the left side of your body. That right shoulder is going to want to lift up how mine just popped up. But see if you can let it come back down to the floor like Claire's. That might mean this knee lifts up a little bit higher, but you want to let both shoulders rest down onto your yoga mat. And then go ahead and turn your chin over to your right shoulder. Today's class will also incorporate a lot of twists. Twists are another great way to get the blood flowing, especially within the organ or that area that you're twisting. Go ahead, come back through center, hug the knees into your chest, and then go ahead and extend your right foot all the way out in front of you. Good, big breath in as the belly fills. Exhale, release your breath and your arm out to the left side. Then go ahead and start to draw your left knee all the way across your body to the right side. Good, and again, if that shoulder starts to lift, lift your knee a little bit higher. So. Both shoulders can rest down into the yoga mat. Breathing in through your nose here. And slowly breathing out. Breathe in. And let the breath go. Good. Slowly come back through center. Hug the knees in towards your chest and rock a little bit from side to side. Good, make your way all the way up to a comfortable seated position. And when you get there, cross your legs, sit up nice and tall. Take your time, settle in, take any extra flesh from underneath your sitting bone so you're nice and grounded here. And as you inhale, lift those shoulders up by your ear. Exhale, rotate them up. And back. We'll take a few rounds here working to link our breath and our movement. So as you fill your body up with breath, lift your shoulders. As you release your breath, release your shoulders. And then go ahead, change directions. Send those shoulders up and forward. So a lot of times that stress gets caught up in there. But also, when we get our blood flowing, we get our lymphatic fluid flowing. And those lymph nodes are under the creases in our bodies, like our armpits, our hips. So we'll work to stretch and activate those areas this morning as well. Go ahead, let the shoulders drop. On your next inhale, lift your chin up. Let your ear fall to your right shoulder and chin to chest. As you inhale, take that left ear to left shoulder and chin to ceiling. 
Take a few more of these neck rotations, breath by breath. Good, inhale as you lift and change directions. Breathing in as your belly, chest, and chin lift. And breathing out as you release your breath in your head. All right. Go ahead, sit up nice and tall, erecting your spine here. Bring your hands to your knees. We're going to do a variation of a seated cat and cow. On your next inhalation, fill your belly up. Lift your chest up and look up. And as you exhale, round your back. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Inhale, come forward. Lift your heart and chin up. And exhale as you round your back, trying to press the center of it to the wall behind you. Big breath in, inflate your chest and let it float forward. And then take a deep breath out, let it go. And then take a few more of these at your pace. Working to loosen up any tightness in our shoulders and our back bodies with our breath. Now we're going to expand this movement. As you inhale, come further forward, still anchoring down through your sitting bones, and we're going to make some circles. Yeah, come over to one knee, then come back, and go over to your other knee. So now we're kind of getting into a few of our creases, those hip creases especially. Work to press your knees down here, breathing in as, the lift, as you lift up. Breathing out as you come forward and lower down. Go ahead, change directions. Good, make your way to that comfortable seat. Take a deep breath in and circle your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Reach up and look up and go ahead place that right hand right behind your hips and take your left hand to your right knee propping up your spine with your right arm so it's upright and sometimes when we say lift the top of your head towards the ceiling people will go like this but i want you to just look forward and lift the very center of your head up towards the ceiling coming out of the waist as you lift the top of your head up Inhale, come back through center, lift the arms, lift the heart, lift the gaze. As you exhale, plant that left hand down and change sides. Catching your left knee with the right hand, peek over the left shoulder. Breathe in as the sternum fills with breath and lifts. And breathe out as you twist from the navel. Inhale, fill the lungs, lift up, look up. And as you exhale, maybe grab a block or just start to come forward here. Press back through your sitting bones. See that both cheeks are into the mat and start to fold forward. Uh, walk those fingertips out. Take a deep breath in. Lift the chin out to the fingertips, still pressing back through your hips. And as you exhale, go ahead and fold in here. We'll take three deep breaths in this seated forward fold. But in this fold, again, work to keep both cheeks down. Even if you can come all the way forward, if you feel either one of them lifting off the ground, maybe back off the fold a little bit so the sitting bones can stay grounded. Take two more breaths here. And on your next inhale, start to lift the body up. Fill your lungs up, lift your arms up towards the sky. Look up, and we'll take that seated spinal twist to the right. Breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in through the nose, and breathe out as you twist. 
Breathe in through the nose and release. Inhale, come back through center. Lift your arms, heart, and gaze. And exhale to the opposite side. Take three rounds of breath here. Allowing your inhalation and your exhalation to be equal in length. So you start to cultivate this balanced breath. Inhale, lift the arms back up. And we'll make our way into our seated forward fold again. Come all the way down. Press back through the hips. Let the knees fall towards the floor and fold in. And breathe. Three inhales and exhales here. And after your third exhalation, start to inflate the belly and the frontal plane of your body and lift the arms back up towards the ceiling. Take that twist to the right and the left for three breaths at your own pace. One of the reasons we call yoganic flow, yoganic flow, is so people can flow at the pace of their own breath. Meaning let their breath flow at their own pace, let your body flow at your own pace. Because we're all feeling differently. So we're all breathing at different rates. So we want you to move at the rate of your respiration. Go ahead, come to that forward fold after your twist for three deep breaths. Take a deep breath in, fill the belly up. And after your third exhale, take that breath in to lift your arms, lift your heart. Good, and bring your hands right behind your hips with the fingertips facing your body. Take that deep breath in to press your heart forward and up. And exhale, round your spine. Make your way to your hands and knees. Take your time to get there, no rush. And definitely grab a blanket if you need to put it underneath the knees. From here, walk your knees to the corners of your yoga mat. Take them all the way out to the corners. Bring your toes together and sit back on your heels. If you have a black or a blanket, you may want to lie your head down on that. If your head doesn't meet the floor, which is fine. Um, I probably need another block today because my head does not reach the floor. Also, if this is your first time tuning in, uh, many of the poses I will not demonstrate on my left knee because I had surgery on it earlier this year. So Claire will be showing the intensifications of a variety of postures on the Sidewalk Detroit Instagram. So whether you're in that child's pose with the hips all the way back, or you're in a child's pose with your head supported, take a few more deep, balanced breaths here through your nose. You can always come to this pose, or sitting down with your legs crossed. To return your focus inwards. To revisit that intention to just watch what's happening inside of you. Visualizing the breath moving into your belly as you inflate your belly like a balloon with breath. And exhale, watch it release coming through the nose and out of your body. And on your next inhalation, fill up and start to rise up to your hands and knees. Right here in your table. Some of us may move into downward dog if your wrists feel okay. Fold your toes under and start to lift your hips up towards the ceiling in an inverted V. Check your head right and left, yes and no. And then start to walk your dog. Bend one knee while you straighten the other. And if you're still on the knees, maybe move the hips from side to side. Just bringing some movement into the low back, into your legs if you're in that downward dog. Take 
one more deep breath in this inverted V in your inversion or in your table pose. And then release your breath out. On your next inhalation, start to lift your heels or your knees off of your yoga mat and walk your feet up to the top of your yoga mat. I'm gonna walk to the back so you can see me. Lift up just halfway with your nice flat back. So make your back as flat as a table. Maybe your hands come to shin clear so the back could be really flat. Good, there you go. And then roll your shoulder heads back. Exhale, fold all the way in, hinging from the hips, maybe putting a slight bend in the knees. Root through the feet, take a big breath in as you rise, lifting your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, bring the hands together at your heart center. Good. Go ahead, close your eyes for a moment. Notice if your heart started beating quickly from the movement. Take a moment to slow down the heartbeat, slow down the breath. Breathing in for two, one, breathing out for two seconds. On your next inhale, take a deep breath in, circle the arms up, fill the belly, ribs, and chest up, open the eyes and look up, and fold forward. Reach down for your toes. Separate the feet, hips distance, and catch opposite elbows. Put a little bend in your knees here. Good. Anytime you're in a forward fold or an inversion, which is a pose where your head is underneath your heart, Right there, you're working to improve your circulatory systems. Let's take a few more deep breaths here, getting the blood flowing, that lymphatic fluid flowing. And then bring the fingertips to your shins or maybe to a block. Lift up halfway, flatten your back, feel a stretch through the hamstrings, and then plant your hands, make your way to the top of a plank or the top of that stable table. Wherever you are, take a huge inhale through the nose, expanding rib cage in opposite directions. As you exhale, lower, letting your elbows shave the sides of your body. Come down with control. Press your toenails down, and as you inhale, start to peel the body up off of the floor, lifting up. That creates too much tension on your shoulders. You can always bring the elbows underneath your shoulders into Sphinx pose. So you could be like me or Claire. Claire, hang out in that cobra for one more second. Peek over your right shoulder and let your hips kind of sway over to the left. Beautiful. Inhale, come back through center. Peek over your left shoulder. Let the hips gently sway over to the right. Good, inhale, come back through center. Maybe come up to the hands if you are in Sphinx and make your way to table or right to downward dog. Folding your toes under, lifting your hips up and back. Also engaging your quadriceps in that pose as you slip them up and back. So whether you're in your table or your downward dog, take five deep oxygenating breaths through your nose. Inhale as the belly expands. Exhale as you contract those inner core muscles. Inhale. Your next inhale, start to lift the knees or the heels and walk your feet up between your hands. Take a breath in as you lengthen up halfway and exhale to fold forward. Pull, inhale, lift the arms, lift the gaze as you root through the four corners of both feet and bring the palms down to heart center as we begin our sun salutation. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the eyes. Exhale as you dive forward, hinging from the hips, peeking your knees or your navel. Inhale as you lift halfway up, nice flat back. Exhale, plant the hands. Come on down to your hands and knees 
or the top of a plank. And we'll hold this plank now for two complete rounds of breaths or this table, just strengthening our back and our arms and our mind with this solid attention to our breathing. Slowly lower with control. Beautiful, Claire. Press into the toenails. Inhale, start to lift the heart up. You can always peek over both shoulders if you'd like or leave it out. Fold the toes under and come to your table or your downward facing dog for five breaths. And if you practice with the organic flow and have come to my class or Claire's and you're familiar with Sun Salutation A, go ahead and take a few rounds without us. We'll catch up with you. Otherwise, we'll go through one more together. Take another complete round of breath here in your table or your downward facing dog. And then on that next inhale, fill up and rise up off of your knees or heels and bring your feet up to meet your hands. Fill the belly up and let yourself rise halfway. Exhale, contract the belly as you fold in. Take a big breath in, lift your arms up towards the sky, look up reach up and then go ahead bring your palms together at your heart center beautiful work now we're going to get into our twist in our second flow go ahead and separate your feet hips distance good look down at the feet maybe use a block to gauge that maybe make two fists put them between the inner arches of your feet the best way for you to decide if those ankles are underneath your hips Start to bend your knees like you're sitting back in a little chair. Shift your weight back to your heels. And as you inhale, sweep the arms above your heart and your head. Nice. And breathe. And I kind of want to show you guys my belly. I want your, your uh, breath to be very active here. So as you're breathing, you're filling up your belly. And as you're breathing out, you're squeezing the low belly in and up here, scooping it up. Take another breath in here, lifting your arms. As you exhale, bring your hands down to your heart. Whew. Maybe some of us sank in a little bit deeper there. Take another inhale here, feel your heart rise. As you exhale, let your left elbow tap your right knee. Take a little twist here. Every time you twist, just imagine that you're rinsing and wringing out that organ, stimulating and increasing your blood flow in your digestive organs by taking a simple twist and breathing into your belly. Inhale as you come back through center, and exhale to the opposite side. Tap your left knee with your right elbow. See that the fingertips are turned towards the sternum, so you feel this in your shoulders. Good. Inhale, come back through center, stand all the way up. Separate your feet apart and interlace your fingertips behind your low back, right beneath the tailbone. Draw the hands towards one another and press through the four corners of your feet. Take a deep breath in. Puff up your chest with breath as you look up. And exhale, fold forward, keeping your hands clasped. Breathe through the nose and fold. Scooping that low belly in and up with, with the next exhale. Tuck your chin to your chest. And breathe. And exhale, release the fingertips down to the floor and let it go. Peek up just halfway as you inflate the belly. Exhale, plant the hands, come on down to your hands and knees or the top of your plank. As you exhale, slowly lower with control. Feel your abdominal muscles engaging. Press the toenails down, fill up. Lift your belly, your heart and ribs. And as you exhale, make your way to that downward dog or your stable table. Take a deep breath in and float the right foot to the back of the mat. Lift that right heel up. And as you exhale, step the right foot all the way up between your hands. 
Take your time to get there. Good. Lower the left knee down. Good. Once that right foot, all four corners are firmly flat into your yoga mat, see that you have space to feel a stretch in the groin, right in that area. If not, maybe you walk that right foot up or you take your left knee a little bit further back, but gauge that for yourself so you feel a stretch through the inner thigh. Go ahead, come up and place your hands on your hips. If you have any knee stuff going on, maybe you place your hands on a block like I'm going to do. Go ahead, lift those arms up if you need a little bit more. There you go, Claire. Breathe through your nose. And for those of you watching us on Facebook, you don't have to do what I'm doing. You can lift your arms right up towards the ceiling. Take one more deep breath in, looking up, filling up, reaching up. And bring your hands down to your heart on your next exhale. We're going to take one more twist here. Take your left elbow to your right knee. Turn the fingertips towards the heart and look up beyond your right shoulder or elbow and breathe through the nose. Right here, stretching through the inner thigh, sending blood flow to that area, which is really good for us. I won't get into that today. We take one more deep breath in here. Exhale as you plant into that right foot. Inhale, come back through center. Lift your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Nice. Exhale, surround your right foot. Step it back to the top of your table or the top of your plank. Yogi's choice. Let your breath decide. Take one more inhale and slowly lower down towards your chest. Good. Fill your lungs up. Lift your body up. And as you exhale, come on to your hands and knees or to your downward dog or maybe even child's pose. Making sure you honor that intention to keep your focus inside and notice how you're breathing at all times. Take three more balanced inhales and exhales through your nose. And on your next inhalation, fill up and lift that left leg all the way up and back behind you. Then slowly start to bring it into your chest, engaging your abdominal muscles, and step your left foot up between your hands. See that that left foot is flat down and lower your right knee down to the yoga mat. Good. Create that space to get the stretch through the inner thighs. Good. And then go ahead and bring your hands to your hips. There you go, Claire. Bring that right hip forward and draw your left hip back. So your hips are squared towards the short edge of your yoga mat. You can also rest your hands at the top of your knees. Or if you need a little more, circle those arms up towards the ceiling and look up. And breathe. Again, getting into those creases where our lymph nodes are, we want to send breath there to get the lymphatic fluid going, which is super good for our immunity. Take another inhale here, breathing into the hips. As you exhale, bring the hands down towards your heart center and take your twist, bringing your right elbow outside of your left knee. Peeking up past your left shoulder and breathing through your nose. Still lunging in your left knee. Good. On your next inhalation, come back through center. Lift the arms. Engage your abdominal muscles as you lift. And exhale. Surround your left foot with both of your hands. And make your way to your stable table or your downward facing dog. Or maybe that restorative child's pose with your knees apart and your forehead down. Wherever you are. Work to let go of everything external and bring that focus and attention internal. Bring it in. Watch that life-giving breath as it moves into your body and moves out of your body. A 
And on your next inhale, you're gonna rise up to the hands and knees or that downward dog and lift your knees or your heels up and bring your feet up to meet your hands. Take your time to get there. Good, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold in. Bend your knees here. Take those feet hip distance apart. Fill the lungs up and sweep your arms up in chair pose, Utkatasana. This also translates as fierce pose, which might start to feel pretty fierce to some of us. Work to stay focused on your breathing. Filling up as the arms lift, bring your hands down to your heart as you exhale. Take that twist to the right. Now because it's Friday, we're gonna have a little fun today. <laughs> so go ahead and play with me here and start to lift that left leg up off the floor. Just let it float. And maybe not, maybe you keep it down. If that's already just too much, let it lower back down. Otherwise, with that left foot up, maybe you start to stretch it up and back. Or maybe not. Maybe you leave it right here, where it is on the floor. Wherever you are, take one more big inhale through your nose, extending the foot and or the breath. Exhale, lower that left foot down. Good, nice work, Claire. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, take that twist to the other side. Now, some of us might be shaking and falling and sweating right now, but that's okay. That's good. Sweat out the toxins in your body. Twist and rinse and wring them out. On that next inhale, engage your lower abdominal muscles and start to lift that right foot up, if possible. Let your breath dictate that. If you start to breathe quickly, you know that means keep that foot down. If you're still breathing evenly and steadily, go ahead, give it a shot. Wherever you are, you're strengthening legs, back, arms, and most importantly, mind. Go ahead, lower that right foot down if you haven't lifted. Inhale, back through center. Reach up. Exhale, fold forward, let it go. Whew, good work, everybody. Inhale, lift up halfway with your nice flat back. Stretch out your legs. Plant your hands and come on down to the top of your plank or your push-up. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, lower down slowly with control. Good, press the toes down. Inhale, scoop your heart up. Good, go ahead, come on to your hands and knees or to your downward facing dog and breathe through your nose. Go ahead, lift your right leg all the way up and back behind. Good, start to step that right foot up between your hands. Inhale, lift the arms up towards the ceiling. Maybe that knee stays lifted, or maybe you bring it back down like we did last round. Breathe. Exhale, let the hands come down to your heart and take a little twist here. Good. And from here, you can always split the arms apart if you need more of a twist. That leg can be lifted. And on your next inhale, come back through center. Lift your arms up towards the sky. Good. Exhale, lower your hands around that right foot and step it back to your downward dog or your table and lower with control. Take a breath in, lift your chest, lift your gaze, and exhale to your table or your downward facing dog. Then fill up and lift your left leg all the way up and back behind you. Good, go ahead, start to step that left foot forward between your hands. Once you feel stable and supported here, inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky. Maybe those arms stay at your heart or at your leg. 
You can even lift that right knee off of the ground. Take what you need and breathe. In your next exhale, bring the hands down to your heart and twist. Go ahead, give those digestive, digestive organs a squeeze, giving yourself a bit of a natural detox here in this twist. Inhale, fill up, lift up, and come back through center. Reach up. And as you exhale, surround your left foot. Come to the top of your table or your downward facing dog and breathe through your nose. Inhales, as you feel the sitting bone stretch towards the ceiling. One day I was in yoga like, what is the real word for sitting bones? And looked it up, I think it's tubular ischiaticum. So you wanna stick that part up and back when you're in your downward dog or your table. Take another deep breath in, filling up, extending. Exhale as you walk those feet up between your hands. And fold forward. Good, peek forward just halfway with your flat back. And then dive back in. As you inhale, circle your arms all the way up towards the sky. Reach up, look up, and then bring your hands down to your heart center and breathe. In through your nose and out through your nose. There's this pose that feels really good that is a inversion that I'd like us to try together. So go ahead, fold forward. Good. Take your hands around your left foot and then put your weight into that left foot. Maybe even put a little bend into your left foot or your left knee. And then begin to raise your right leg up and back behind you. Moving our way into a standing split here. That leg could be just parallel with your hips or it could lift all the way up to the sky like you're doing the splits. Breathe through your nose here in this standing split, letting your torso hang heavy over that left leg. Some of us might even catch that left ankle with both hands this morning. Wherever you are, find three more deep breaths through your nose here. And then slowly start to lift up halfway after your third exhale. Inhale and lift halfway up onto the fingers. Step your right foot all the way to the back of your yoga mat and drop the right knee down to the mat. Good, start to inch your left foot out to the left edge of your yoga mat. This is where you may wanna grab a block or a blanket. Start to play, walk your hands forward, maybe on that block or maybe on your mat. Lean forward, lift your heart forward, feel that stretch in the groin. Then come on down to your block. Maybe elbows come to the floor, or maybe you stay right there on your hands, if that's a good enough stretch for you. That can always be determined where your focus is. If you're thinking this hurts, this hurts, you'll be breathing quickly and reacting to it. But if you're focused on your breath and there's no pain, maybe just some discomfort, see if you can breathe. Breathe through that temporary discomfort. Breathe in through your nose. And breathe out through your nose. Just observing any sensations as they arise. Just observing those sensations without reacting to them. How are you doing down there? Still breathing? 
Find five more breaths here in Humble Warrior. And when you are next breath in, start to inflate your belly and your whole thoracic spine and lift your body up, coming onto your hands and knees if you're not already there. And then go ahead, take that right knee back to meet the left. You may stay on the hands and knees or go to downward dog and move your hips from side to side. Or maybe you walk it out in your downward dog. Breathing in and out through your nose. And let's go ahead and step our feet all the way back up to the top of our yoga mat. And let's try the other side. Lift up halfway, stretch your back out long, and then fold all the way in. Take a deep breath in, lift your arms up towards the sky, reach up, look up, and then bring the hands down to your heart. Take a breath in here. Exhale, release your breath and your body fold forward. And then identify that right foot. Put both of your hands around that white, right foot and then start to put your weight into your right foot. So much so that that left leg is kind of hanging out there. Then start to let that left foot float to the sky on your next inhale. Good and breathe here in your standing split. Increase our blood flow in our hips, in one of the tightest creases in our bodies. Take a deep inhale here, pressing the footprint towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, step that left foot all the way back. Lower the left knee down to your blanket or to a yoga mat. Good. Take that right foot outside of your hands. Maybe grab your block. Lift the chest forward. Create some length in the spine and some space in the hips. And as you exhale, you can stay right here on the hands. You can come down to your elbows. Elbows can come to a block, a blanket, or your yoga mat. And breathe. While you're here on your yin pose, your humble warrior, Think about what's going on with your blood in this moment. With our blood, we don't necessarily get to create more. It's just the same supply within our bodies. So when we experience some stress or even some pain, and we start to experience fight or, fight or flight, that blood might have to go to another part of our body to compensate. So the blood flow in our kidneys or other organs might stop as we're reacting to something. Being in these poses help us work through how we react. So continue to notice how you feel in each moment. Work to observe the sensations without reacting to them. See if you can find three more deep breaths through your nose here in Humble Warrior. Purifying and oxygenating your blood, breath by breath. And after that fifth exhale, as you're emptying out, take a big breath in, fill up your belly, and rise back up to your hands if you're not already there. Take your right knee back to meet your left and make your way to downward dog or this table pose 
Just letting your hips move from side to side or walking it out. And then start to come down to your hands and knees, making your way into a seated position. Take your time to get there. Good. Stretch your legs out in front of you. Make sure that you take any flesh from underneath the seat so you're grounded and flex your toes. Take a deep breath in, circle your arms up towards the sky, fill your lungs up, lift your arms, and reach out to catch your toes, your ankles, underneath the knees. Inhale as you stretch your chin out in the direction of your toes. And exhale to fold all the way in here. Always grabbing a prop if that makes the pose more accessible for you. Maybe resting your head on a block or several blocks or a blanket. And breathe here. Slowly start to come up backbone by backbone all the way until you get to your back. Take your time to get there and lie down. From here, squeeze your knees into your chest and press your footprints towards the ceiling. Lift your feet all the way up so we're back like we started in our candlestick pose with our feet right up. Now feeling a little bit lighter, stronger, with our blood flowing and that lymphatic fluid flowing throughout our bodies. If that feels good for your neck and shoulders, maybe lift your hips up to stack over your shoulders in a shoulder stand. Good. Pressing your footprints to the ceiling, creating this straight line from your shoulders all the way to your feet. You may even keep the hips down as I am, or you can be like Claire with your hips all the way up in Salamba Sarvangasana. Wherever you are, take five more deep breaths here. The better our blood is flowing, again, the better that lymphatic fluid is flowing and cleansing our bodies. Take another breath in here. And then as you exhale, if your hips are up, let the toes come over your head to get a deep back bend and plow pose. If your hips are down, keep pressing those heels up towards the ceiling. Activate your quads to straighten your legs out so you feel that elongation of your hamstrings and your back body. Good, find five more deep breaths here. And if you're in that plow pose like Claire in Halasana, see if you can deepen your breaths now that your lungs are compressed. Good, big breath in, inflate the belly. Exhale slowly, vertebra by vertebra, come out of your plow pose if you're there, and we'll all meet on our backs with our knees bent and our feet into the floor. Open your arms out wide to a T, and let your knees fall to the right and your chin to the left. And another variation of our spinal twist. Taking more twists for our blood, for our body. Inhale, come back through center. And exhale to the opposite side. Let your knees fall to the left and your chin over to your right shoulder. Allowing the eyes to close. Letting the lips rest closed. And 
working on your next breath in. Come through center, lift the knees up, and press the soles of your feet into the floor. And then eventually bring the soles of your feet together. Lift your arms all the way up and over your head. We'll take a deep breath in, filling up for five, four, three, two, one. Hold your breath at the top. Four, three, two, one. Release it out. Go ahead and slowly stretch your feet down towards the edges of your mat for our final pose. Shavasana. Stretch your hands down beside you. And with your hands on the floor, flip your palms up towards the sky. Allowing yourself to completely surrender in this moment and let go. And let go. You may stay in this pose as long as you like. beyond this video. Just giving yourself permission to release. Just letting go of everything external. Noticing that beautiful internal flow that's happening within us. You start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Instagram just went off, but you guys continue to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Let your chin fall from one shoulder to the other. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms over your head. And then hug your knees in towards your chest. Rock a little bit from side to side. and make your way all the way up to a comfortable seated position. We add clear again to the video. And from that seat, fill your lungs up and circle your arms all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale as you bring your hands down to your heart center. Close our eyes for a moment. And take one more collective healing breath through our nose. Breathe in. And let it go. The light and love in me bows to that same light and love in all of you. Namaste. Thank you, Claire, and everyone that joined us this morning. My name is Carrie Trahan with The Organic Flow. I'm very happy to be sharing this practice with everyone from Sidewalk Detroit this morning, and I look forward to seeing you on the mat next week. We have classes all the way up until the 22nd, 
and I look forward to seeing you on Facebook and Instagram every weekday morning at uh, 8. And Claire, again, thank you for your time this morning and showing everybody the intensifications of these asanas. Thank you so much. Great. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Bye, guys. Have a good rest of your day.